welcome back friends in my last video lecture you have learned how to install the symphony application framework on your local machine today i am going to cover a small topic on the symphony that is the routing so as you know this routing is one of the major important or one of the important concept in the symphony application or in any web application you will see this routing even if it is a front end or a back end so i will cover some important concepts on the routing and the configurations as part of this video lecture there are different ways in which you can create the routings or the routes in symphony you can either use yaml file or yaml configuration to set up this routing or you can use annotations or even you can use xml or php but for today's for today's lecture i am going to show you using symphony annotation or doctor sorry doctrine annotation so in order to make this routing work you need to install a package called doctrine annotation you can find it in the symphony receipt server or the flex where you can see this doctrine annotation so the first thing you need to do is you have to set up this composer package doctrine annotations for me i have already set up this on my project so when you when you check my composer version composer json file you can see you can see the doctrine annotations once you install this doctrine annotations you will see one yaml configuration file which is under the config folder so if you go to the uh, yeah, config folder and the and when you check the routes directory you will see this annotation this is auto generated this is auto generated once you install this doctrine annotations package here here you can see so here from here we understand that all these controllers are now using annotations so we are using the annotation to describe the routes to describe the web routes another way is you can directly edit in your routes.yaml file but i am not covering it in this lecture i am going to show how this can be done from a controller using using annotations you can also check like something like this uh, here uh, something like this a slash b1 slash menu so what is the next step so if someone browse a slash b1 slash menu what is the next step how this controller should handle this route to do we need to add this annotation to our controller so we will start by creating a controller in our project okay so there are there we can generate controller either using the make make in make bundle uh, or you can manually create a controller something like this new php file and the controller but i am use i am trying to use the easiest way that is like using a make command is bin console make controller in this case i am planning to list down restaurant menus so i am planning to create a menu controller yeah i created my controller so it comes under the src folder that is src slash controller slash menu controller you go to the src controller folder now you can see my controller is created and automatically the route anno annotation is created so just i'm i do not i do not want to render an html here i am just 
removing everything and I will show you how you can create something like this APV1 menu the first step is you need this at the right route annotation so this route package should be loaded from the symphony routing annotation then you need to specify the route name so because my menu controller is the is the starting point i would like all these routes under my menu should come under ap slash v1 so i am giving a generic name something like ap slash v1 so this is the first part ap slash v1 and i am adding one method called public condition list list method has one request parameter or request argument request is part of the symphony http foundation component and what is the next step is we need to add this route annotation route slash menu and i am also giving a name for this route but it is not required but we can name it if you want to call some actions from a template perspective menu underscore list and you can also specify the methods i am just telling that this is the second method so but what all things we covered here we just added a generic name called ap slash v1 using the route notation and then we added another annotation to the list function that is called slash menu should list what should list something should list should output something so um, for for uh, demonstration purpose i am just returning a json response okay return new json response and inside this json response i am creating an array which contains the data data which is an array of restaurant menu and i am telling the response should be like response is of type 200 means it's just like it's returning a response it's done with the returning a response with a status 200 so i have created one controller i added one annotation like ap slash v1 then i added a uh, annotation for my list functions something like slash menu and I returned a JSON response of the restaurant menus so let us take check this from the browser now we now we can see you can see the JSON response from this path from this route you will see the restaurant menus see so you can set up the routes for your symphony controller in the next lecture i will show how we can create a documentation of this route because in all api backend apis we need some documentation to show the request inputs or the request parameters and the response parameters so we can we can view as a documentation or a swagger uh, documentation from the web perspective so I will show this in the next lecture using Symphony AP platform or another bundle called Nelmio AP bundle. I will cover this in the next topic. And thank you for watching this video. See you in the next lecture. Bye.